Injuries. That's our topic today. And typically when we have an injury, a sports injury or just an accidental injury or whatever it may be, um, we go, oh, you know, it's going to take me a while to recover from this. I'll, I won't be, you know, on the sports field anymore for a little while, or I've got to curtail what I do with my life because this injury has to heal, be it, you know, my knee or my back or my elbow or whatever, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things I've found, having been around EFT since 1995 in its various forms, is that the proper use of EFT, this is not always the case, but it's the case often enough to really get our attention. We can speed up the healing process dramatically. Um, I know there's some rehab centers uh, that I was in contact with. This was years ago. Um, people would come into the rehab centers and whatever the ailment may be, they would say, well, gee, uh, this is going to take about six months to heal. In the meantime, you're going to have to have a, a cast, you know, and, and or whatever the thing may be in a lot of exercises and come in here three times a week to lift stuff and whatever to rehab the injury. When we use EFT, I don't have exact st statistics on this, but it's about, it speeds it up by about 50% on average. Now, some not at all, but some dramatically so. But I would say about 50% improvement. If, if Like if they were to say, the rehab center were to say, oh, this is going to take six months. You're probably going to get out of there in three months. Property done. EFT. Now, let me give you a little background here. I've got a, I mean, this, this was spurred by a, you know, an email that was sent to me, made a few notes on it and so on. But this particular person had an ACL injury. It has, it has to do with ligaments in, in one of the knees. And typically the ACL injury comes about for, from sports, some demanding sports, football, for example, American football, uh, basketball, you know, th th things that, that, um, that put big demands, you know, on the knee. Now, I'll tell you what's interesting about this. This is all, almost an aside, but it's, it's worth discussing in this, uh, you know, in this video. In my early years, I was very, very, very active in sports. I played football, for example, for eight years. That is a very, very demanding sport on your body. I also played basketball and baseball and a bunch of other stuff. I was very, very into sports. And as a result, I knew hundreds of other athletes in sports. And this went you know, up through the college ranks and everything else. Not once in all that time with those hundreds of athletes that I knew personally and played with and against and everything else, did I ever even hear of an ACL injury? It was not in the vocabulary. Somehow or other, nobody ever got <laughs> an ACL injury. And then after a while, and, you know, after I no longer did sports and so on, somebody, some famous athlete would get an ACL injury. That's what it was called, ACL. They're going to be out for a long period of time. And then another one, and then another. It's almost as though, and I'm going to put this out just to let you think about this for whatever it's worth, okay? It's almost as though now, well, one of the injuries you could get is an ACL injury. Now it comes into our awareness, and guess what? ACL, 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 you see it, <laughs> see it a lot. I don't know how to explain that. I'm just pointing it out, but let, let's get to let's get to injuries of all kinds um, and EFT. Now, two ways to go about it: you have an injury, okay? um, you sprain your shoulder, you get a sore shoulder from playing tennis, or or you fell someplace and you have an injury on your shoulder. All right. 
it hurts. You can't do much with it. Uh, don't know how long you're going to be out with it, but you, 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 you're going to guess two or three weeks or something like that. That's what it feels like. Okay. Now, you can bring in EFT, the unseen therapist in particular, and aim it at the symptom that is the sore shoulder, ignoring any possible cause for the moment. And there's a good chance you're going to get some relief. Uh, temporary relief, maybe. Maybe permanent. I've seen it happen. Okay, but just aiming it at the shoulder and the the pain, the swelling or the pain or the the lack of mobility or whatever it may be would improve that often. All right. Now, if it doesn't do that, if it doesn't improve or proves very little or very, very temporary or not much happens, that's a big clue although it doesn't seem like it would be to the ordinary thought process. That's a big clue. There's emotions involved in the proper healing of the shoulder or whatever the, the ailment, the injury might be. That seems really weird. They say, well, what was that? I mean, I've, I fell and I hurt my shoulder. What's that got to do with me being angry about something or guilty about something or something like that? What does that have to do with that? I don't know if I have that exact answer, but I can tell you with some frequency, when we aim the unseen therapist or any other form of EFT at an injury, we may get some dramatic stuff, but if it doesn't happen, we start looking for, well, around the time of that injury, were there any emotional issues going on? Oh, yeah, my girlfriend dumped me. Or, oh, yeah, you know, I got caught speeding and I'm angry at the, you know, the, the law and the police officers and angry at myself and whatever. Okay, or, or whatever the case may be. You know, there was a divorce in the family. Somebody passed away. We find those and we find the, we start bringing unseen therapist in for that emotional issue. And it's like, and you won't find this in medical books, at least I can't find it in medical books. It's like that emotional issue is keeping the shoulder or whatever the injury may be from healing properly. Now, I've seen on many occasions take care of that emotional issue. And, oh, oh, the shoulder, yeah. It's not two or three weeks. It's two or three days. I've had some cases where I had serious injuries. Like, I'll give you an example. I was, you know, slicing some vegetables, and, and I had a really sharp knife, and I, you know, I basically hit the end of this finger and I cut off about this much of the top and went right to the bone. It's, it was held on just by skin. Oh, ow, big pain. Oh, that's going to take a long time to heal if it heals at all. I live way out in the country and there's no hospital around or doctor. So I just put it back to get, put the tip back on and put a bandaid bandage over it. Ouch, pain, pain, pain brought in unseen therapist did it two or three times as i recall this is a few years back and the pain went from oh ah e you know to oh you know a, a bare awareness i was aware of it you know i wasn't going to do anything i shouldn't be doing you know with an injured finger i was aware of it okay two or three days later I, there was no pain, no sensation, no nothing. I took off the Band-Aid, and there there was a little bit of a mark, you know, which you think might be a, eventually a scar, but even that left, no scar. So instead of two or three weeks, it was two or three days. The pain went down in a matter of two or three hours. Uh, so I've got others like that. I, I did something to my knee and and uh, I have I've had other injuries where that's occurred. I've had other occasions where you aim at the symptom itself didn't get very far. 
didn't get very far. Now there's an emotional issue behind. Okay, so I've got to ask myself what um, what's been going on emotionally. What am I resentful about at the moment? What's been happening? You know, and I kick around, I guess, a little bit sometimes. I ask unseen therapist herself what's going on. Mm. That's one of the skills we teach in our our more advanced in more advanced training. Ah, get some good clues, and then off we go. Okay, can't tell you how often I've done that. Let me look at my notes here. See if there's anything else I want to discuss with you. Um, no, I think that's that's probably the highlights of it. We have, uh, if, if you will notice, you know, below this video. There are some essential links, so you can you can get uh, it's a free ebook that I have called the Unseen Therapist. Uh, it, you know, it points you at all the the basics of all of this, and it gives you an intro way to you know uh, uh, go about this. There's also links to a free newsletter that I give, um, and uh, to our advanced training where you can really learn this at the very very high levels. Anyway, there it is for now. Speeding up, you know, the healing of phys physical injuries. We'll see you next time.